Hello everybody and welcome to another video and today you join me in the local woods to where I live and I'm just watching the ducks on this pond here and the little ones that have just been born are running up massive steep mounds and it's making me think again of how when we're younger as, as well as human, humans when we're younger when we're babies we do all of the training necessary to be able to to then walk and run as we do as adults and all the training that humans seem to do is when we're younger and then we just kind of fade out becoming physically incompetent well these ducks and animals in nature they just evolve all of their whole lives they get better and better and better as they as they age but humans we have this belief that we degenerate and it's a belief that's affecting us collectively and because we, we don't we don't we're not meant to degenerate with age you know we don't we're not get, meant to get to 30 years old and start deteriorating we're only meant to evolve just like the trees just like they get more presence as they grow older and it's the same with these ducklings they are running up things that a human would struggle to run up and they're about that big and they're on like two legs with no arms still trying to get up and they still manage to get up even though he's fallen over a little bit he's still got up because it's that constant training throughout the whole day and it's all about maneuvering their bodies and they're trying to figure out life they're trying to figure out the way the body's meant to move and, and they're learning every day and this is what we were doing when we were babies we were learning we were evolving we were taking the baby steps to then walk to then run to then have to then climb and then as we're adults we go in our normal lives and we forget to train we forget that yes we're meant to evolve even further than that it's not just when we're babies that we're doing all this training it's yeah we actually are meant to evolve even further we don't we don't just stop we don't just degenerate it's when we stop that is when we start to degenerate we're meant to keep evolving as humans and i want to be talking about the 10 essentials of life in this video so the first element of the 10 principles of life i want to talk about is nourishment and nourishment through foods and i'm only going to briefly talk about this because i've talked about it in depth in my course and you are the power course and also in my book so i'm going to be talking about the nourishment through foods and we should only be eating whole foods that are growing and grazing on the land specifically really organic local foods grass-fed meats the helicopter now disturbed my video but anyway i'll continue so yes organic vegetables organic fruits grass-fed produce right, it's annoying that one anyway and in season local medicine that is growing around like nettles dandelions these are the foods as humans we're meant to be consuming like we have just again faded out of the knowledge that we're meant to be consuming from the land around us and have done such a good job of conditioning society to to go to the supermarket and buy all the crap that they put on the shelves and yet we're scared to forage for our own food and this is what the first principle of life is it's nourishment through foods so we should be you know eating grass-fed meat raw milk raw butter vegetables fruits organic again you know homemade produce homemade cakes even all of this as long as it's whole foods what we should be staying away from is artificial foods foods with e-numbers foods that are heavily packaged foods that are heavily processed foods that are not coming from the land and that are made in a laboratory which is the majority of stuff in on the shelves in the supermarkets and that is where we need to be focus our attention on nourishment through foods whole foods and then drinking spring water from from springs if we can and again that's i've done videos on this there is not not many people know where the springs are a lot of the original fountains that the old world used to get their water supply being now cut off even though they're still running the access point's been cut off but there's still springs around if you may have to do a bit of traveling to to find one but we are meant to be drinking pure spring water primary water which is full of the mineral content that a water should be it's living water it's been flowing through the earth through for thousands of years picking up memory picking up layers upon layers of crystal and it's coming out as living pure water and the tap water in the process bottled water it's not even water compared it is when it's ozonated when it's pumped full of literally hundreds of chemicals in the tap water process that's not water that, that you know spring water is water pure spring water that's come directly out of the spring and not being processed 
Second principle of life is simply a good night's sleep. And sleep just recharges the entire body. When we sleep, we go into a state that is so pure. And it's not just sleep that recharges every cell in our being. It's that sleep, when we are in our subconscious state, it brings healing up to the surface because it brings things up that we're not aware of consciously. And this is why sleep is so important because we're in that state where we're not fully conscious, more subconscious. But then in the daytime, we can work on letting these things go. Alongside sleep, the main benefits are charging every cell. When you're a little bit under the weather, just getting that few extra hours sleep makes the world of difference. And the other principles of life, they are movement. So we need to be moving our body in a way that feels aligned. Primal movement, you know, anything that feels right to you, walking, dancing, moving your body moves the energy around. If you stagnate, your body will stagnate. We, like I talked about at the start of the video, this training is movement, movement is training. And this is the way we've gone wrong as humans is because we've stopped playing, we've stopped moving. We just when's the last time you actually went for a run around and a play and a climb? And all of these things that are training every ligament, every muscle, every tendon in the body to be looser, to be stronger, to evolve. And into actually, if you want to train and get stronger, to progressively overload and to actually improve the way you're training and improve every time you train. And, and that's where we've been missing, uh, you know, as humans. And this is what nature still has. If you just watch the animals, watch the squirrels and the birds, how they move, how they manage to be the best version of themselves all of the time. And it's just a magical thing. Then we have grounding to the earth, to the Schumann resonance of the earth, which is grounding our electromagnetic bodies to the earth's electromagnetic body, to the Schumann resonance of about 7.83 hertz. But the resonance of the earth is constantly changing. And when we do that, we, we drop our nervous systems into the ground and we begin to regulate them. We begin to regulate our nervous systems. We begin to, to feel calmer, to feel more tranquil. We begin to connect to the land around us, to connect to the seasons and to actually feel at one with nature. And this isn't just physical benefits, it's spiritual benefits. When we actually connect to nature and our bodies feel more attuned with the natural cycles of the earth. Next, we have gazing at the sun when it comes up and when it sets. So as much as we can to be out in that light when it's, when it's sunrise and when it's sunset, because this attunes our body to what you call the circadian rhythm. So it's the rhythm of the, it's the natural rhythm of the sun of the earth and of the earth and when we are connected to this again it's like grounded we feel more relaxed our nervous systems are more in balance we feel more human and we just feel ourselves when we connect to nature and it's not just at sunrise and sunset this is just the for sun gazing but to get out in the light all day as much as you can any time in the day if you're out in the light you're getting the sun's rays you're getting the God rays and it's, it will awaken and energize every cell of your being just to sit and expose as much skin as you can to the sun and just enjoy the sun, just enjoy getting out and it's just a brilliant, brilliant thing for healing just to sit by yourself in nature, taking the trees and the plants and the waters and the streams, just sit out inside into, in the sun and every day make sure you're getting out at least an hour or two in the sunlight. Then we have meditation and visualization. So allow time for yourself in the morning or at night and just to sit by yourself and imagine what you want from life. Who are you? Ask yourself, who are you? I talk a lot more about this in my course in depth. You know, I have a new enough three, three and a half hours of footage covering these subjects in depth in a, in a deep healing course, You Are The Power, which is on my website www.jamescaginelli.com which I'll link down below but yeah getting out and, and being by yourself and getting to know yourself on, on such a deep level whilst imagining what life really is for you what you want from life what your values are what your principles are having that deep session having them deep sessions with yourself is so important so important when it comes to the essentials of life
Then we have the essential of connecting to yourself. So by connecting to yourself is every moment of every day, are you aware? Are you aware of where you are? Are you aware of your body? Are you aware of what you're thinking, your thought processes, which are your own and which are conditioned into you? It's all about awareness, it's conscious awareness. And this is, uh, and knowing who you are is a, is a lifelong process. And But getting to know yourself on a daily basis, deeper and deeper, and covering, uncovering deeper and deeper layers of yourself is why I believe we're here as humans, because we are meant to find more aspects of ourselves and we are meant to know ourselves on such a great level that by the time we leave this realm we'll be so much more evolved than when we came and finally we have connection to the divine which is a belief in something greater than anything it's also connected to you so you can call it god you can call it the creator you can call it anything you like mother earth it doesn't matter this force is the same thing and it's the force that runs in every breath every tree every soil every cell in you be in your being every interaction every moment it's the it's it's the divine i call it the divine it's the high magic that, that runs in everything and to connect to this is what being truly alive feels like and it feels different for everybody but when you're truly alive you understand in a stand sorry that you are part of the divine and you are an expression, a unique soul, expressing the divine in your experience in this life. And once you operate at that type of consciousness, life begins to shift, life begins to change, and you begin to find more and more of the truth of life and the truth of yourself. And it's also so important to, to find a purpose, to find a reason for, for being alive. And a lot of the time, it's simply just being yourself. The being alive at every moment of every day, just actually acknowledging the gift of life. And this is what deep healing is all about. And like I've said, I talk in such detail about this in my course. And it is why I feel that this would, this would that all of these essentials will benefit everybody who, who wants to get to know themselves on a greater level. And this is why I've done the course, because I put so much work into, into something that will greatly benefit any type of person that just has the intention of wanting to heal and wanting to find more of themselves and the truth about life which is different for everybody but to acknowledge the high magic and, and feel alive in their bodies in their beings in their souls and to find their soul expression in this life because it's what a gift it is to be walking on this earth and to take a, a slow down from your day-to-day -day lives and just acknowledge the trees, just here in the woods, the water, the ducks, everything coming to life in the spring. It's a magnificent feeling and I wish it upon everybody. So check my course out, check my website out and have a scroll through my other YouTube videos because I've got so much information on there that it'll greatly benefit your life and it's still benefiting my life. I'm learning from my own things. I'm a student of life and I'm no means, <laughs> I'll never say I know everything because I don't. Every day I'm learning something new. We're all students of life. However, I want to get across the message of aliveness and getting across the message that life is always here to teach you and to get to know yourself on a greater and greater level. So have a blessed day, everybody. Enjoy the spring or whatever season you are. If you're in the other hemisphere, it's autumn, I think. So yeah, enjoy the seasons, enjoy life. And I'll see you around.